Well, I didn't get to the shower today like I wanted. Um, I was on call for the grandkids, but I was able to do something here. We were able to fix the leak. Um, shockingly enough, it was as simple as I had not thread or I had not put plumber's tape on the thread. Um, these parts came in several weeks ago and I would mess with them and draw it out and lay it out. I must have attached attached it thinking I had uh, put the tape on it, but I, I hadn't put it on the threads before putting it together and that's why it leaked. So in the middle of the night, I felt the Lord say, um, Bobby, you didn't put tape, plumber's tape on the thread. So I couldn't wait to get up this morning and check it out. And sure enough, what threw me is there was tape around the bottom half that I had added later because I had thought that I had put tape on the inside, but I hadn't. So once we took it apart and did that, it was fine. What we added today was a rain barrel drain spout. And I don't know if you can see it. There you go. What we did was we, I uh, connected an old hose to it, put a hole in the floor, a small hole. I used one of those really narrow hoses, uh, the, the squiggly kind. I just had one laying around I never use. I've had it for years. I cut it and I attached it, put a hole in the floor, and then I filled the hole with that uh, filler that, to keep the critters out. And now when you turn on the water, and I'm not going to do it because I, I put it back together, you, as long as that lever's in the forward position, um, you know, you turn the water on and the water goes into that tank. And if it goes up, once it goes above that drought or that spout, the water will just go out onto the ground. I can turn the lever off to keep it fully in, contained in the tank. Whatever the circumstances are, it's excellent. Ideally, it would have been best uh, to put that spout underneath the tank, but it was an afterthought, and I would have had to redesign everything in here because the tank would have had to have been raised up off the floor, and yeah, not going through all that. So there'll always be about two and a half inches to three inches of water in that tank, but once it gets over that spout, it's going to drain right out. So, I love this design. Simple design. I've got space in here to do uh, store other things. I've got uh, my tank on a pull-out dolly tray. Pull it to the end of the, or to the door, right to the door if I want to refill it. Never have to lift it. Um, I never have to remove that tank. How convenient is this you know folks it's pretty amazing to put together something like this and live simply even if it's for just a short time um, once I design the shower I will be executing uh, putting in the power and the energy with lithium batteries and solar and the very last thing I do course that's going to be a herculean task because it's going to be a pretty sophisticated shower setup and i can't wait to get started on that lord willing weather permitting i'll start on that tomorrow morning um but the very last thing the reason i'm putting that composting toilet off for the very last is because i still haven't decided what we're gonna do i have this thought in my brain to design a portable outdoor bathroom um, for the composting toilet not a tent we've all seen those portable I mean something first class that you literally step out of your trailer and you have an enclosure that's portable but sturdy and in the summer months you just keep that portable toilet outside I can even uh, construct it so that it's locked up or you know, if I ever leave the trailer, I can just pick it up, put it inside the trailer and lock up the trailer. I know it sounds crazy. I've looked for videos of anybody who has had that idea that during the good weather season, they keep their composting toilet outside, but I haven't found one yet because I want to build a first class little potty area that's outside the trailer. To me, why not? Why not? 
why keep your toilet in this tiny little cubicle in good weather when you can construct a rainproof uh, little area that's portable and sturdy to keep your composting toilet in. So that's my idea, folks. Have a wonderful evening. May God bless you and may God bless America.